In this problem, we're given that the perimeter is 200 centimeters. The perimeter is the distance all the way around the rectangle. They've given us a representation of the length and the width, but each has a variable in it. Okay, it might be confusing to see the length described this way, but um, that's a valid way to describe the length, and this describes the width. But the perimeter refers to all four sides. So they want us to find out the exact width. So we're going to have to figure out what x is. All right. What we'll do is set up an algebraic equation and solve for x. But before we get there, you have to understand that if this side is 3x plus 2, then this side must be 3x plus 2. And if this side is 4x minus 7, then this side must be 4x minus 7. And if we add up these four sides, it's going to equal 200. So let's deal with these first two. 4x minus 7, 4x minus 7, and then these two, 3x plus 2, 3x plus 2, and all together that's supposed to equal 200. Okay, now there's something that I haven't put in here. I said I was going to add up all four sides. So I need a plus sign between each of the sides. And the perimeter is the sum of all the sides. So I add these up, and they're equal to 200. OK, now I have an algebraic equation. You combine like terms, or a lot of, usually I'll say clean it up. You have uh, 4x. That's a positive 4x, positive 4x, positive 3x, and positive 3x. So those are four like terms. The x is just going to come along for the ride. Let's see, I'll put this, I'm going to have to back out a little. Well, let's, let's just worry about the coefficient first. So I have a 4, a 4, a 3, and a 3. When I add them up, that's 8, 11, 14. All right. So we're going to have, move this over here, 14. Again, the variable just comes along for the ride. It's 14x. All right. We've taken care of that, that that and that and now we have to combine the other like terms a negative 7 a negative 7 these are positive so I'll handle them separately um, so 7 and 7 this will give us a 14 but it's negative taking care of those 2 and 2 that's going to give us a 4 I have one subtraction This is a negative 10. So we have 14x. We have negative 10. And we'll just bring down, oh, by the way, I used up the 2 and the 2. Um, we'll bring down equals 200. And now we just have to solve for x. Well, I shouldn't say just, because after we solve for x, we'll have to plug it back in. I'm going to slide this up some and just focus on this. We want x by itself. Get rid of this negative 10. It's held by addition or subtraction. So you get rid of it with addition or subtraction. I put a positive 10 underneath 
the negative 10, and then I always have to do the same thing on the other side. So this leaves us with 14x. That's a 0. I don't have to bother write it. And we have 210. Again, we want x by itself, so divide by 14, divide by 14. Uh, 14 goes into 14 once, so you have 1x on the left. And then 14 into 210, it goes, let's just be careful here. Um, I'll do my long division. 14 goes in there once. Seven left over, bring down your zero. 14 goes into 75 times. That would be 70. So 210 over 14 reduces to 15. So we figured out what x is, but we're not finished. Maybe I'll do this in red. So x is 15, but they want the width. Well, let's slide down even a little more. Maybe I'll, I'll write this up here. Um, we figured out that x equals 15. They want the width. So we take this 15 and we plug it in right there. So 3 times 15 is 45 plus 2, that gives us 47, the units are centimeters, so the width is 47 centimeters. If you want to go a little further and check it, if you plug in a 15 wherever there's an x and add all this stuff up, you're supposed to get 200.